welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Keeks and I'm here to just be bomb and just be your new favorite YouTuber. Um, just kidding. No, for real though. But yeah, I'm Keeks and welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button like right now and make sure you hit that little bell so you get all the alerts when I upload every Wednesday. To be honest with y'all, I did not feel like recording today. I woke up and I was just like in a blah mood, but I was like, you know what? Chick is 2018. You need to keep this momentum going. We talked about consistency in my last video. You can look at it right here. I'll tag it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to remain consistent and record even when I don't feel like it. So here you go. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all all of my favorite natural products that I've brought with me into 2018. Um, I mentioned in my other videos that I like changed my entire lifestyle and little by little, bit by bit, I have transitioned to a completely plant-based or all-natural product line that I use on my everyday um, in my everyday routine. So from head to toe, I'm gonna show y'all how the girl's natural. Okay? So <laughs> starting off with my face, um, I will be doing a acne video, acne update video. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. So starting off with my face, these are the products that I use to, you know, wash my face and stuff. Whatever. So, y'all know, well, y'all don't know, but I'll mention all this in detail, that I went through a variety of different natural product lines and stuff, trying to figure out what will work for my skin, and I found a winner! <laughs> okay, and that is the Abba Botanica Acne Dope line. So this is what it looks like. Number one, I've been using the face and body scrub. And I love this because it is such, it has like an exfoliating texture. It has an exfoliating type of like consistency. I feel like it's done wonders for my face. Um, and getting rid of like all the dead skin cells and all that other stuff. This is just like another part of their line is a regular wash um, I feel like this has done great things for my skin as well in conjunction with these two items I also use their um they had like a spot cream I was using that too and they had an astrogen the astrogen I'm not hold on I have the astrogen one second okay so here is the astrogen I don't know if I'm saying that right probably not whatever to be honest with you guys I have not been using this every day I'll use it here and there and that's because I feel like it kind of causes more breakouts for my skin as you can see I don't have any makeup on because I, I wanted you guys to see um, my fresh face but okay so mainly I'll use the exfoliating scrub every day on my face and body in the shower um, I'll use that that's it's great it's also great for taking off my makeup when I do wear makeup um, so more than likely I'll use this and the face wash as well at the same time um, I need to start using my facial brush you know the the automatic brush I don't I haven't been using that for like the last couple of months but I need to start I feel like when I start using the brush and these two face washes my face is gonna be a1 even more a1 but it's come a long way if you've seen my videos for my face has come a long way and I can't wait to do the acne video to show y'all. But yeah. So after I wash my face, I use Thayer's Witch Hazel. So this is the lemon one. This is the lemon one. I usually use the cucumber, but when I read up, I bought um lemon. Lemon's okay, I guess. So um I'll just put some of this on a cotton squab. No, it's cotton squab. I'll put some of this on a cotton swab. Yeah. I'll put some of this on a cotton swab and then I'll just wipe my face. And then after that, what I do to moisturize my face, um, because I had a lot of dark marks from my acne, I've been using the Ambi Fade Cream. This is for normal skin. I've been using the Fade Cream and I have seen dramatic differences in my skin since I've been using this. And the consistency is like a lotion type of consistency. So I don't really go over it with like an additional lotion for my face. So this is my moisturizer. 
I'll wash my face, do, um, I'll wash my face, tone my face with the witch hazel, add this to my face and my body, because I have like chest acne marks as well, and then I'll proceed with primer, makeup, blah, blah, blah. So that is face. So I'll link all of that stuff in my description box below. Teeth! My all natural toothpaste. This is Tom's, the Tom's brand. Okay? Now, full on disclaimer, I do not know about any other flavor besides clean mint. Do not get peppermint because it does not taste like peppermint. Get clean mint. Clean mint tastes like regular toothpaste. Peppermint does not have that minty freshness. I know I like minty freshness. Some people just, whatever. Get clean mint if you're going to try this toothpaste. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Um... Yeah, I purchased this at Whole Foods, you can get it at Walmart, um, Target has it sometimes, but mainly I stick to it purchasing it from Whole Foods. Body wash, girl, okay, look, this is like, uh, okay, so probably about two years ago, my boo Malika, if you follow me on my Instagram, shameless plug, my boo Malika, my photographer, um, one of my photographers, because kamisi has been my photographer too, but she put me on to Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Bronner's is a pure castile soap. It is like made with a bunch of different oils. And it has a whole entire line of different scents. So when Malika originally put me on, just like I'm about to put y'all on, she told me about peppermint. The peppermint scent smells so good. I love peppermint. Peppermint just opens your pores. It smells really good is really great for alleviating um, headaches and stuff and it just will make your entire bathroom smell like peppermint when you're in the shower and I love that it literally like when I say it opens your pores it opens your pores y'all like yeah and um yeah Malika put me on to, <laughs> to peppermint I was using peppermint for like a year straight they have bigger bottles than this the price range is from like I think these size bottles are like um 10 no more than 10 I could be wrong don't quote me but I know the bigger bottles are like 15 but they last you really long and you can dilute it so at first I was hooked on to peppermint this is what it looks like super bomb y'all need to try this out this is the only body wash I use on my body um so at first I was using peppermint and then I switched over to the citrus this is not citrus, this is lavender. But the citrus is really good if you're like that type of person and when you take a shower in the morning and you need like just like an extra boost and you look for that in like your facial wash or your soap. The citrus um, scent is really good, it's really refreshing. I've recently been using lavender. Earlier in 2017, I was not a fan of the scent of lavender, but my best friend is and whenever I would go over her house, Kimba, she would always have the scent of lavender either like diffusing out of like a candle or an oil like something was always diffusing the scent of lavender so i've grown to love it which is why i bought the soap it smells really good it calms you down if you had a long day you take a shower with this it's just very soothing if you have some relaxing music playing while you're in the shower i want to like candles and have that type of stuff playing so it just adds on to the ambiance of your peaceful shower. Um, so, when you start using the Dr. Bronner's um, soap, it will feel different because using soaps like Dove or Dial, they put like an extra film on your body and it gives you the impression that like your body feels softer. So that's what the extra film is. When you use the these soaps, your body's gonna feel like stripped a little bit like you know when you wash your hair with shampoo and it feels like it's stripped of like moisture that's initially how your body's going to feel and it's gonna feel weird but that's just letting you know that the other soaps had like a film that they left on your body so over time you'll get used to the feeling and you'll just feel clean I know I hate how my hair feels <laughs> when I wash my hair with shampoo but it's that's like the only example I can use to compare it but it 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 doesn't feel that bad like you won't hate how your body feels after because you'll feel like it's just normal um 
So yeah, that's the only thing with these soaps. If you're wondering if you can use it down there, yes, the answer is yes. I know for me, I did use it down there because I was using Dove and all that other stuff down there, like whatever soap I was using. Um, peppermint, it does feel refreshing, okay? And when I say refreshing, I mean you will feel extra cool and um, like, yeah, it'll just be a new feeling. That's, I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? But um, I know for me, it was okay for me to use it down there. And it might be for you. You can try it out if you want a little, like, cooling sensation down there. You know what I mean? Try it out. I'm just going to leave that at that. But I do not use that down there anymore. <laughs> I never use the, the lavender for my, like, private parts. I only use the peppermint, so I don't know how the lavender will be. I know the peppermint is cool. But... I don't use that I don't use this and that is because of my new they're not new and that is because of the honey pot company the honey pot company is a plant-based feminine care brand and these are their feminine washes so they have them in they have a normal wash So they have a normal wash and they also have a sensitive wash. I've been using the Honey Pot Company Feminine Care Wash and their whole entire line for like a year now. And I honestly can say that it's been like one of the best things I added to my daily regimen. Their products are vegan, they're paraben free, they're sulfate free, they're gynecologists you know approves like all these amazing things they're made with like all natural products and they help if you have issues like where whether you have like UTIs all the time if your um, pH balance is always off if your just body is like a little bit off when it comes to your feminine you know area you need to give these products a try and even if it's not even if everything is okay with you in that department, in that area, I strongly suggest that you guys switch over to the Honey Pot Co. They don't only have the feminine wash, they also have pads, they have wipes, they have everything that you need for your feminine area. Okay, for your vagina, they have everything. So, there's no excuse as to why you should still be using any other brand or any other soaps that aren't meant for down there. Okay? Um... They have ingredients such as lavender, apple extracts, coconut. I can honestly tell you that like I ran out of these products for like a month or two. And um, I felt the dip, like I felt like my body was different. I felt like it was off. Like I just needed to have these products back in my life. So I had to get them and restock with the quickness. So the link to purchase all these amazing products will be in my description box below. Do yourself a favor, do your vaginas a favor, do your girlfriends a favor, whoever is close to you, tell them about the Honey Pot Co. and purchase it today, okay? Because you won't be disappointed. Um, okay, so next, for my body, when I stopped using all these other products, I stopped using regular lotion. And Shorty needed to moisturize and I just couldn't see myself lathering myself in coconut oil all the time like I wanted something with a thicker consistency so I switched over to all natural shea butter and what I did was I just added some almond oil to the shea butter and it made it like a whipped consistency so this is what I use to moisturize my body you can see that this area is more whipped than this one this is like just the regular consistency of the shea butter I did that on purpose so I wanted you guys to see this is how it naturally comes and this is what it more so looks like when you add the oil um I need to add more oil because it looks kind of like it can the more oil you add the more whipped it'll be but yeah this is what I use on my body now after I get out the shower um to moisturize you can purchase this from you should be able to purchase it from your beauty supply store if you're in Brooklyn um, you can purchase this from the Medina store there is one located on is that Atlantic yes on Atlantic Avenue um, I think you may be able to order it online I'm not sure but I bought this from the actual Medina store on Atlantic 
for four bucks. This big jar, I bought it for four bucks. So, do yourself a favor, switch over, honey. Yes, all natural products, all 2018, okay? Finally, deodorant. So, when I transferred, when I wanted an all natural deodorant, I was using Tom's, the Tom's brand, the brand that I, I use for my toothpaste. They have an all natural deodorant. And basically with all natural deodorants, um, they don't have aluminum in it. We all know, well, some of us don't. Um, aluminum can be found in like your everyday deodorants such as like the Dove deodorants or the Degree or whatever. And I don't know about some of you, but like my armpits can look dark sometimes. Like even after me shaving and it gives off the impression that I didn't shave, which is really annoying. And I'm still working on how to like reverse that to make them like an even tone. Um, as soon as I figure out that, how to do that, <laughs> I'll let y'all know. But after doing research, I found out that it's actually the deodorants that can cause your skin to look darker. So that was the main reason I decided to switch over. Plus, I've read and researched and stuff before that deodorants can be directly linked to like breast cancer because it's right next to like your lymph nodes by your breast and all these other things. So. I didn't need to read any more before I switched over to an all natural deodorant. So with using Tom's, I was trying to use it all year round. And um, in the summertime, it's not like I was rank or anything, you know what I mean? It wasn't like, you know, your girl was walking around all musty. But <laughs> I saw that like, it didn't give me the full coverage that I was used to, which then made me defer back to using Dove and all that other stuff. So I was like, nah, I need to really find one that's really going to like, you know, work. Um, Tom just wasn't doing it in the summer. Like I said, it wasn't like it was, I was smelling or anything. It just like, I saw that I was still sweating and that was blowing on. So I did more research and I found another brand. The brand that I just recently switched over to is the Kiss My Face brand. I know it's like, I've been using it guys and um, you can't really like this is how it looks this one is the sport active life deodorant I looked at reviews because I'm review mommy when it comes to all these things and this was the best one I found and I haven't had any complaints I've used it I started using it in the summer it handled my um my perspiration I'm not smelly at all I was never smelly just put that out there but it just it just handled it, needed, it did everything I needed it to do as a deodorant, and it still does, and this is my deodorant now. So, yeah, I suggest getting this deodorant. I'll put the link for it below. Again, sorry that everything's like all blah, blah, blah. So that concludes this video. I hope all these products helped you all or encouraged you to switch over to a more natural lifestyle. Um, there's literally products for everything. There's more and more products going onto the market every single day. Eventually, I do want to transition to a completely black-owned product line. I mean, from face wash to toothpaste to body soap. So if you know of any amazing black-owned lines, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any more questions, comment, let me know. What else, what else, what else? I think that's it. So we're starting off 2018 strong, girl, okay? If you've got something to do, you're going to do it. Do it. Remain consistent. This is our year. The only person that can stop you from all that God has for you is you. So get up, get out there, and do what you need to do. Okay? Because that's what I had to tell myself this morning. I did not feel like doing this. But I did it. And now we're done. And it didn't even take that long. Okay? So, <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. My birthday is coming up. My dash app is cakes. I love you all. Let's get this video to like 100 likes. Yeah, that's not too steep. Y'all can do that. 100 likes, 100 thumbs up. We can do it. And make sure you share this video. Tell all your friends about Keats Curls. Um, it's lit. I got some big things coming for y'all this year. Okay? See you.